Well, although I grew up in Seattle as a child, I feel like I uh, really grew, in, grew into who I was in San Francisco. I went there as a student and was invited to join the company after a wonderful European tour where I was a student and at the end of that they gave me my apprenticeship and uh, I stayed as a part of the San Francisco Ballet for 20 years. I spent a good 30 years wearing point shoes. Towards the end of my career, I realized I was quite fascinated with this because when you find the right point shoe, it really helps you be more expressive as an artist because you don't have to think about what's on your feet. You can just completely concentrate on the choreography and what you're trying to express. The pair of point shoes that you have for a show uh, can make a big difference in how you feel when you're dancing and how you dance. Um, for me, if I have a pair of shoes that are broken in just right and they, I feel that they look nice, um, it gives me that much more confidence in how I'm going to look on stage. So I think it's really important and uh, I try to prepare them as best I can. You never know because it's always different. When you're watching the, a ballet when you're little and you just think they're just floating because it's just so beautiful for ballerinas to be on point. And so when I first went on point, I was just so over the moon excited because I wanted to be one of those ballerinas. This is my shoes and it tells me like my name and when it made. For me, usually I have to completely break my shoes. So I usually like have to take all of this, it calls ton like inside of the shoes, I have to completely t like take it off to like halfway. And I like to wear my shoes quite soft. So I usually basically <laughs> break it a lot. And then I can't do it now, but I'll take this off, cut it. And I usually cut here so that it doesn't dig in my heel. And then that's how I usually wear my shoes. With the evolution of the point shoe, having it start with actually no box at all and just stiff toes underneath supports the idea of the romantic period work. So the shoe is very supple, it doesn't have any sound, and this year it's visible in the work that will be done in uh, Les Sylphies. You can contrast that with the classics, where the platform of the shoe has to be more pronounced. And then on the other extreme you have your contemporary works, where the shoe has to be able to be used on the corner and on the platform and be supple, yet be supportive for some of the technical feats that they have to do. With Kathleen, it's been fantastic, yeah. It's nice to know that she, she knows a lot so she can give us um, good feedback. I did get my um, point shoes I'm wearing right now fitted with her so that she could see what um, point shoes fit me best. And I love my point shoes. They're really light, they feel light, they're not heavy, but they're um, strong, and they're exactly what I need. My name is Kathleen Mitchell. I'm shoe manager for Boston Ballet and faculty member for Boston Ballet School.